All right, I want to kick things off. Just say what's up. Welcome to a little game called Loop Mancer. And shout out to eBrain Studio. They're the ones that are actually sponsoring this first video. This game is actually available. As you're seeing my video right now, it is available on Steam as of July 13th at 10 a.m. PT, which is 1 Eastern for all my East Coast people, you know, like myself. Uh, I have a link at the very top of the description. It should take you to the Steam page where you can check the game out. Also, before we begin, a little bit about this story. So here's kind of what the premise is. You play as a detective who comes back to life after an unexpected death in battle in this lifelike and futuristic city of the East. Uh, after his death, he wakes up in his apartment bedroom. Before he can process what happened, his phone rings and his colleague at the agency is telling him about a brand new case, which is like the disappearance of a famous female journalist. And that's kind of what the story is about. So, all right, all the likes you're dropping is greatly appreciated. If you would like a full series, I'll kind of see how the first part does. Also, I have two copies of this game to give away. Uh, since it's on Steam, and it might just be through like a Steam gift card type thing. So, love you all. Best audience ever. If you want a chance to win, you like the video, leave a comment of when you found my YouTube channel. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, we got four options. We got story mode. Enemies deal significantly less damage to you, making it suitable for concentrating on the story, which is nice. Easy. Let's see. Not good at action games to challenge themselves. Okay. If you're good at action games, you will get an enjoyable... I might go normal mode. What is challenge? Increased damage suitable for hardcore action gamers once selected. It cannot be changed. Oh, no. Normal it is. Here we go. Yo, that loading screen looks sick. Yo, it's the shoe. I have been busting my ass. Dave Ray? What's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. But now, he ain't a punk no more. The guy's the head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. Is he gonna cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. Here, this is for you. Be careful, man. If the chump and his men make a fuss, don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. Later. I hear there's a stew pork restaurant in town that's out of this world. <laughs> All right. Yo, this is kind of cool. Let's just go ahead and check everything out, shall we? Oh, my. Okay. Gotta take some getting used to everything. Yo, that's so cool. All right. Hi there, Zhong Tishu. I'm Mona. The senior mission intel agent on this case. I will provide you with the intel in this operation. Greetings, Mona. Pleased to meet you. Liu Xin is my supervisor. You solve many well-known cases with her. I'm honored to be part of your team. <laughs> You're being too polite. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and enjoying the pageant with his underlings. Keep going and cross the barricade. You'll see him once you get down there. Given your skills, this shouldn't be a problem. Thank you, Mona. What do you know about the Parade of Penate? The city god of Longxi Town embarks on his annual tour on the fifth day of the sixth month of the lunar calendar. People also call it the Parade of Penate. To ensure a year of fortune free of calamities, temple crews will organize a rich and colorful parade along the canal. The Longxi Gang grew pretty quickly in the past few years. They donated vast sums for three years running. This fest cost them $50 million alone. Thank you, Mona. That bit of intel is actually quite useful. I will keep an eye out on things, and update you as we go along. Be safe. I'll see you later. You too. Be careful. Alright, getting kind of used to everything. We get the melee weapons, we're gonna be breaking obstacles. Oh, what is that? E-coins. Little double jump. The upper left corner shows your current- Okay. That's what I was wondering. Very interesting. Oh, 
Oh, wait, you can... Hold on. While sprinting... Hold on, let me do that again. <laughs> okay. Gotta hold that down. We gotta basically sprint past it. Uh... Oh, wow, that is cool. All right, logistics terminal. Uh, scattered throughout the map and will auto-activate when you are in range. Heal for some HP, okay. Let's spend cores and reset HP. So since this is a roguelite game, it's going to take some getting used to everything. Can't really do anything yet. All right. Let's go and get some sprint going. There we go. Areas marked with that up, down. Let you jump up or down through the platform. Okay. Makes sense. So I'm guessing like right here. Okay. Alright, X Gang's diary. If you need to read all this, feel free to pause it. You're 2045 on that. Okay. That was November. This game takes place in 2046. Okay. Pick up what we got here. Ooh, some more ammo. All right, nice tutorial so far. Wait, let's go over here first. Anything? Nothing? All right. Hear people talking. Yo, I like this a lot already. It feels very smooth. Hold on, let me see. Okay. Wait long. Oh, well, if it isn't a great detective, Xiong Zixie, to what do I owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. This reporter's name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. It's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. You hear that? Now, if there's nothing else, piss off. Her co-workers say that you're the last person she interviewed. I said, you can piss off. You may have heard. We're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. If we do it that way, I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Penate might hit a few snags. Screw you! You think you can threaten me on my own turf? Don't think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? You're just a petty detective. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. I shall try this out. Oh, wow. All right, we'll be dodging a lot. Here we go. So we kind of just... Are we good? All right, so every, all the weapons are on the top left-hand corner. Just got to get used to everything. All right, here we go. What we got here? All right, notes. When you pass through certain combat zones in a level, challenges will appear to the left side of the screen. Try clearing these challenges for more rewards. Okay. Hold on. Can we go down here? No, it's not that. Although it's 3D, it's still kind of 2D on that. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Wait, can we do the other one? And of course. Oh, we got the shop Don't here. Shoot. Seeing the shoot. The robot. Why do you know me? I'm a cyborg, actually. The name's Funk, and I'm a black market dealer. I know Dave Ray from your office. You know Dave? How? I have a store at the North Watchtower Market of Dragon City. Dave pays me occasional visits to buy a few weapon chips or parts you can't get from the open market. Well, North Wakyang is the place for chips, circuitry, and other electronic parts. A techie like him who just arrived at Dragon City must feel as though he's hit a gold mine. Why are you here? I do business, and business is always better at troubled places. You seem to have a role with the Lucy gangsters. Do you want to check out my wares? They'll help you. Fine. Let me take a look. But first things first. I gotta tell you that Lucy gangsters buy things from me as well. You're quite... the businessman, I guess. I suppose you'll sweep the battlegrounds afterwards for weapons and loot. Alright, so he's basically in shop. Okay, let me go ahead and skip all this again. Alright! Uh, we don't have enough for that, or any of this. 
So all the currency is on the right side of the screen. I'm at 167. Okay. I just want to see what these things are. What is this? Part H heat rifle. Yo, that thing looks pretty crazy. What in the world? Set them on fire. Essentially. Wait, can you... Let me see them really quick. Transfer. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough, right? Wouldn't make any sense. I, don't, I just didn't know why this one would... I thought you could, like, deposit. Maybe you can transfer and hold on to it later? I don't know. Let's see. All right, enemies. Watch out for flashing visual cues uh, and sound effects to play when enemies use special attacks. Okay, iron body or invincibility buffs take evasive maneuvers when this happens. All right. Maybe be dashing a lot. Hold on. Alright, overkill. Every we okay. Every melee weapon has a special attack known as overkill. That's what that is. I was wondering. Ooh, let's go, baby. Hold on. Yo, that is sick. Let's go, baby. One quality of life thing I like that this game does is when you get behind something. You have like a silhouette, which I think is really useful. Okay, I was just testing that out. That's what that is. Hey, what is this? Thing? Oh wow, what? Fuck you, cool ass brutality. Yeah, this game is sick. Damn. I just like the range. Okay. Yo, let's get it. Limbs everywhere. So you can transfer it over. I'm just going to hold on to everything I have. Hold on, I'm going to look around as much as I can to what we got here. All right, potential des uh, deserter. Almost said disaster. <laughs> All right, if you need to pause it, feel free to. I'm going to read a lot of this when I'm editing um, so I can keep on going with the game. What we got there. Nice. What I also like about this... Let's get a detonate. Someone's hurt. Ooh. That hurt a little oh, bit. Fuck fuck you. You. Take care of my family. I just. Wait, what happened? I think I died right there. <laughs> I'll catch you and break your damn leg. Oh shit! <laughs> This is the roguelike part. Let's see where it puts us. I got slaughtered. My reaction time, I needed to be, I might, I'm debating about going to mouse and keyboard. We'll see. Oh no, here we go. That was supposed to happen. I assume. Interesting. Okay, death and loops. This is what I was, uh, when I said he wakes up in his apartment. All right, every time he dies, wakes up in his apartment, everything will reset to the state it was in the morning, 2046, July 8th. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm recording this video on July 8th, like 2022, obviously. <laughs> I'm not in the future. I promise. Uh, the detective, however, will retain his memories, uh, make use of the knowledge and intel gathered to make better decisions in this new loop. Okay. Choices matter and will affect story progress and the fate of key characters. Starting a new loop may change the maps, levels, puzzles, and story. Okay. Hi there, Zishu. Can you swing by the office today? The director is looking for... Uh, evidence board. Relationships, uh, okay. For you. Alright. Let's see what we got. We got characters... Oh, it's like the big spider web branch of like who's connected to who. All right, stats played for seven minutes. This will get filled out as the game progresses. This is, a, I like how this is done. Most roguelike, not like, roguelite games are not like 3D and stuff. I think this is a really nice touch.
At least the ones I've played. HP soda carrying limit increased. Okay. Hi, it's me. This isn't anything important. I saw the mail you sent me. I don't want to undergo the spinal neurosurgery you mentioned. I know you want the best for me. And I know this new tech looks pretty effective. But please, just let me think about it for a while. Alright, checked all the voicemail stuff. This is the apartment. Nice. I love the atmosphere in this game. This is a cool little workout set we got here. We got some dumbbells. The bench press. I need to try my max. It's been a while. Alright, learn. Alright, uh, tenacity. Spend cores to unlock and improve. Okay, let's see. Survivability. Raise HP or HP soda carrying limit. Economy. Retain some e-coins after dying. That's cool. You retain it as you carry over to the next, like, little section where you reset. Uh, combat. Additional combat skills let you deflect. Mainly or project- Oh, that's gonna be useful. Very nice. I own zero, so... This is for later. Shield parry. Oh, yeah. We got a little outfit change here. Worn jacket. That's cool. You can unlock stuff like this. Oh, yeah. The replayability showing. I like it. All right. Seven months. It's been seven months since we got into the car accident. Okay. So they lost some money. Hmm. My daughter and myself. Hmm. All right, here we go. So now we head back. Start loop one. Let's get it, baby. Yo, this is... This is so detailed. Alright, character archive. 36! Well, I'm 35, so there we go, you know? Showing my age now. Been on YouTube for... 12 years. <laughs> Untrue or non-existent. Sounds similar, uh... Okay. Character archive. So this is kind of just getting... The different characters, close relationship, who's with who. So this should all pop up on that little board we have. Here we go. Dave Ray 32 has been working. Okay. Zashu, you've finally come. It's been a while. How have you been? So... Each area, you can just go back. Hmm. Tishu, you're finally here. Sorry to call you in on a Sunday. Hey, after all this time away, you're treating me like a stranger now. You're in a much better mood than I expected. I can't stay depressed forever. Anyway, what case is too hard for the great Liu Shi? Another reporter went missing after her vehicle was hacked. She's a reporter with the Dragon City Daily and the mayor's daughter. The mayor is a good friend and college classmate of the director. This reporter was like a daughter to him. Wait. This reporter. What's her name again? Lisbeth. It can't be. You know her? I don't know her. But what I'm about to say might surprise you. Tell me about it. Wei Long is the last person she interviewed. You piqued my curiosity and now you have my attention. This is a new case. Who gave you this intel? I was startled to wake this morning by a dream. I remember it vividly. I went to Long Shi Town to look for Wei Long and investigate this case. You mean you dreamt of looking for Wei Long in Long Shi Town? <laughs> Quit messing around and tell me who gave you the intel. I'm not joking. I'm confused too. I'll just have to talk to Wei Long in Long Shi Town. Go on, keep messing with me. Parade of Panade is being held in Longshi Town today. The event is sponsored by the Longshi Gang. One more thing. As you already know, Wei Long is the last person that Lisbeth interviewed. There's bad blood between you from five years ago, and now he's the head of the Longshi Gang. 
There's no way he will cooperate willingly. Head over to Dave Ray's in a bit to get a weapon. Understood. I'll leave soon. I sent the detailed brief to the terminal outside the office for you. Remember to give it a read. Go upstairs and check in with the director before you leave. Great. Alright! Uh, Intel Knowledge, you've learned to choose your next stage. That is so cool. So, he knows about what happened that she was sharing and everything because of what, like, the dream. But the dream is like the loop. At least we don't know yet. We're kind of learning the story. I said go back. Is it anything over here? Looks like it's all just going to the right. Can't jump or anything here either. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna check all this stuff. Missing girl. Hijacked. Okay. Hmm. Look at this robot. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, we can use the elevator. Let's keep going. Look at the art. Okay, we can't go this one. Maybe that's something we unlock later. Here we go. There's like a constant, like, ambiance. Like, noise playing. I really like it. Really adds a nice vibe to the game. Alright, director's office. Here we go. C'est sure you're back. Thank you for coming back for this case. Hi, director. It's been a while. You lost weight. I take it Liu Xin already filled you in on the case brief? Yes. I'm going to start investigating soon. To be honest, this case puzzles me. Many reporters have gone missing, and not a single one of them has been found. I watched that girl grow up. Please, do everything you can to help. Don't worry. I'll do everything I can to bring Lisbeth back. All right, so we just, uh, we're good to go. So I'm guessing now we can, we can't go anywhere over here, okay. By the way, this, this might be a long video. I like, when I first play games, I like to just sit and play for a while, you know. I'm just surprised how much they added to the game. Like, all the people you can talk to, interact with, all this stuff. Equipment file. Let's see what we got. All right. Melee. Here's our one gun we got. Let me view the details. That's what we've seen. Okay. All right. Here we go. Pick up. It's all, wait. All this stuff's free? Oh, you got to pick between flying axe or glass bottle. I think I'll go with that. Pyro. I feel like pyro will be probably better, right? Hey, Zashu. You're finally back. I've heard you're going to Long Sheetown to take out the most ruthless gang there. Got something good for you. Just think of it as a welcome gift. Let's see what you can do. Ooh. Just want to like try everything out. Hold on, hold on. Do I want to go with this or? Let's we'll see what these do. Oh, that fire probably is the way. Glass box. So we always have the knife. We can we can change that later. Let's look at the equipment file now. Tactical gear. Let's see what this thing is. That's mine. Put it down. They detonate. All right. Pretty straightforward. Skill chips. Seismic palm. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Hold on. Can I inspect? It says start game. What is this? Hey, what in the world? Flappy? Let's say sedan. Let's see what this. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh my god. It's like Flappy Bird. <laughs> That's actually cool, man. I'll go as long as I can, though. <laughs> We're gonna try it. This can't hit anything. Wait, I, you can actually hit the ceiling, so. Oh, come on. Respawn. Uh, just go continue. Interesting. All right, main menu. Quit out. Let's get back to the game, baby. Game within a game. Here we go.
right, here we go. This is all familiar enough. Greetings, young tissue. I'm Mona, the senior mission intel officer assigned to offer you assistance. Greetings, Mona. Wei Long is currently at the bridge. All right, so we, this is where the loop is. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was wondering, like, everything else seemed like it was supposed to happen. Like, there would be a point where I was going to die anyways, because that's kind of what the point of these types of games are. All right, so she says the same thing. She may say made, like, more stuff later. So now we got different equipment. Hold on, hold on. Take some of that. Nice. All right, hook activated. I gotta admit, we just go up, right? There we go. That soundtrack is so good. So at any point, I could just go back up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kill any chance I get, I guess. That's why these are here. It makes everything's coming together now. All right, let's get it. Fuck you! Someone's hurt. There we go. My fucking arms. All right, loops. Uh, for some reason, the same level pill differently in a new loop. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh. Can't. I guess we go across, right? Maybe it's because I have my gun out. Let's see. So I can't really. Yeah, I can't really get up there. Unless. Hold on, let me try something. Hmm. Does that move at all? Doesn't look like it does. Something would have to happen where this can drop down, then we can get whatever's in there. Because there's this thing here, too, which looks like you can go up it. It's so like you can grab onto this, but you can't grab onto this one. Interesting. That's fine. We'll keep it moving. Hook at Oh, hook activated. Does that mean we can go back? Yeah, there it is. Hey, there we go. All right. Nice little puzzle. What we got here? Ammo. I'm trying to like itch for it a little bit. All right, this is close to where I died last. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. All right. Fuck you. Damn. Fuck awesome. Work. Awesome. I love throwing axes. Something about it. Watch this. Guy comes from the left, maybe? Or is it different? Alright, so we have hills as well. I'm trying to think like getting used to everything. Just got in here for a second. I've already checked this before. Should be the same. Just lost the dude. There we go. My arm. Whoa, wait, hang on. Does this go over here? Oh, it does. Hello? Hey, more ammo. All right, so this is the alternate path. Hey, this is kind of cool. Hold the teleport. So you can go back and forth. Interesting. Based on where you want to go. Let me talk to. Greetings. Well met, Funk. I've been watching you fight for a while. I can give you a few tips. Great. You should have noticed that some enemies might flash red or yellow during the fight. Yeah, I did notice that. You probably have no idea what that means. I'll explain it to you. Enemies go red when their e-brain releases a load of adrenaline into their systems. They won't feel any pain when hit during this time. Your attacks can still do damage, but won't interrupt their attacks. You should evade them for a while since they'll keep swinging even when hit. Enemies go yellow when they activate the gold mantle ship. It usually happens when they use special moves or adopt defensive postures. While the ship is active, attacking them won't achieve anything. Try conserving your stamina and bullets when that happens. Thanks, Funk. That's some really useful info. No problem, Tsushu. Just buy these weapons for me. With you. Hey, <laughs> hey. 
I don't know that. He's a hit. This is like all of his inventory. All right, e coins. Need a better weapon? Buy or unlock with e coins. E coins by defeating enemies, smashing boxes, clearing challenges. You lose e coins when you die, so spend them when you can. Okay, that makes sense. Can't go in there. Need to also remember to use. So everything on the top left. So we, I kind of want to try the healing out, even though it might be a waste. There we go. Okay, well, now we know. 50 HP. What is this thing? Something I want to try. Uh, I'm going to try not to die, obviously, but if I do, what am I trying to spend everything I have like on some of the stuff and see if it holds over? Man down, I was right, this should so burn out. Close. All right. See ya! Back up! Just get. Uh oh. Fucking idiot! Tight damage! Man down! Man down! Alright. Tight! Yes! They got my hand! Hey, let's go, baby! Alright, now let me heal up. See how much 50 gives. Okay, 50. So, 50 is like almost half, it seems like. Exploding barrels. Yep, same as last time. Can't go there. Okay. Yeah, I gotta stay on top of everything. I'm gonna go back this way really quick. I have 352. I just wanna see if there's anything. So I could hill right here if I wanted to. Hmm. Okay. Do I buy one of these? We should try this. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going all over the place. Oh, yeah, we're going back. Yo, I love how they've done this. One of my all-time favorite games is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And the way they've kind of got this map where you, when you kind of explore it, you can see it unlock everything. Oh, this is sick. I'm excited. All right, on the left. So, kill enemies, we got 6 out of 18 kill enemies in 15 seconds, 0 out of 5. Exploding barrels to kill enemies, yep, we can get on that. Alright, we're already past where we were before. This fucking hurts! We also got the run. We go up here. No. Can't go there, okay. Wait a minute, hold on, let's see. Where's the map saying? Oh, we gotta go up. There it is. Alright, nothing over there. I love how I was able to shoot him backwards. Alright, exploding barrels. There we go. Oh, man. Needed one more enemy there. Ooh, what we got here? Hold on. Stamina. Buff bot optimizes bi bionic human stamina. I mean, I feel like this probably is the way to go, right? Always go for damage. Damage and HP. Because if you look at when I jump, see the white bar at the top, top left? That's That makes sense. Uh, let me... Do I heal up now? I think I can take like one or two more hits, then I'll heal up. Slowly gathering info with this game. Break this. What do you think? What the fuck? Fucking idiot! Ah, I got it. Wanna go home? Damn the pain! What the oh, fuck? Damn the pain! Let's go! Go kill me! Oh, no, it killed me. It's all good. It's all good. Where do we start at? Let's just jump straight back in. We're going to keep it going. That's the beautiful thing about these types of games. Trial, trial and error, things will be a little different. We get to kind of see different loops. I thought I was fine right there, but man, I died so fast. All right, here we go again. Run it back. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we actually see everything's different now. 
Well, we had it good. I thought we was doing really well. All right, here we go. What the fuck? Only new. Now we kind of have a general understanding. Fucking idiot. Fuck that hurts. Get oh. this shit man down. Hey, the dodge in this game is so good. All right, logistics terminal. Funk sells different weapons. Yeah, between that. Okay. So, we now know the thing I bought in the last one doesn't matter. Oh, let me go back down. Was there something else down here? Looks like there is. Let's break some of this. Earthquake transfer. Okay, this is it. Now, this is just like the first time. The very first time. Wall jumps. Let me go back up here then. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Hey, activated. Fucking idiot. I was so close. Go ahead and reload everything. All right, we should be good. Climbing. All right, so this is kind of like the first time. The second time was a little different, so now we can kind of see the differences. Break that. Here we go. Gotta watch your ass. I'll go ahead and skip this since we already know what he's gonna say. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Take some bottles. There we go. I'll blow you to pieces. There we go. Oh, he's dropped something. No. There we go. Slowly learning. Very slowly. We got this, though. Same as last time. Yep, E-Coins. Yeah, remember how on the last time the stuff was going to the left. Now it's going this way. All right, so the healing. Okay. We've already talked to him. Brick. What do we want to get here? We have 247. I'm gonna get this one. Confirm this purchase. Uh, yes. Here we go. And this is the other gun, so this should be a lot better. All right. Uh, Look at what more damage this. this Damn. What the? I got one of our dudes. You asshole! What the man? Someone's hurt. Mike just used the gun for a minute. Yeah. Keep him off me. There we go. We got a challenge done, which is nice. So now I have 400 and... Oh yeah, 456. Let me see something really quick. I wanna see what this is. Salted, you're beating them to death with fish. That is hilarious. SMG, we got a brick. Mm. There we go. So the healing, it doesn't come from any currency. It's literally just that bar on the thing. Um, the other thing, we actually need like the currency for it. Okay. I'm out of ammo, which is not gonna be good. I like how the fists have two out of 16. Like there's 16 more. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, fuck you. I might throw bottles at him. Hey, take Fuck some of this. They got one of us. They got one of our dudes. They got one of us. There we go. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. I really want this assault rifle though. Uh, let's see. Knockback can be attacked. Still the same apply. Yeah, we can't be careless. Let's break this. There we go. Fucking worm! Oh, Fuck damn. you! Someone's first! I'm gonna keep going off. Damn the pain! I've lost it. Oh, no way! 
fucking. Oh man. Mom. I'm healing up. I'm just gonna top off because sometimes the healing. It just. You gotta do it fast. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the fist was like some kind of ammo type thing. It says zero out of. I don't know. Let me. Let me just destroy this. This doesn't really matter. I just realized I have nothing. I probably should go back. Hold on, there's a, the gun thing is down here. Since we can kind of backtrack as much as we need to, I might run back and buy some stuff. I could get this. I'd have to transfer it, then come back. Problem is, I don't think it carries over, so. I'm gonna run back over here. So it's available. We, we could get, uh, since our weapon is out of ammo, we can pick this back up and then we can even get the SMG. This Let's get that. I might get a brick too. Why not? Anything's better than nothing. Yeah, we're out of glass bottles and stuff. All right. There we go. Just kind of get loaded up for the next area as best we can. The AR would have been nice, but we can't really do much about it. Man, time flies when you play this game. What is this thing? Oh, oh yeah, let me get this. We get the pick. Resilience. Increase your max HP. Yeah, let's get this. Because I've been done kind of quick. I'm not going to lie. AoE weapons. Okay. Mm, do I go hop down here, maybe? Oh, it just loops around. Very interesting. Hold on. Is there anybody? What the? Damn it! Is that all you got? What the fuck? Oh, I, I got just want to go Get the pain. Oh, fucking ace! Oh boy. No. Hurry up. Um, I'm gonna heal up. Fuck! Oh, damn, that's brutal. Oh, and bricks. That's fucking hard. There we go. Only... What the? That was sick. He went flying. Chance. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard chance. way. Get ready to die. Oh, this guy's just chilling right there. That's the main guy we're after. No more hills or HP soda. What do I do here? Do I want to? Hmm. I really need some health. I'm not sure what to do here. Stamina lock. Uh, pyro blast. Flying axe. Now the axe is really useful. I like that a lot. Let me let me get all this stuff first. Hold on. There we go. We're going to definitely hill up there as best we can. So this right here replenished. I could have went back, got that like shotgun I bought, and then used that. Uh, I'm gonna get the axes though. Confirm this purchase. Oh yeah. And then I can always keep these here for free if I need to. We'll, we'll definitely be back over here. Pyro blast. And then this one is also stamina lock. Let's get this. Confirm this purchase. There we go. All right, should be good. All right, should I talk to him? Greetings, Sushi. We meet again. Hi there, Funk. I found a few weapon dealing terminals. Did you place them there? Oh, so you actually noticed. They're weapon authority charge device of the Dragon City Arms Alliance. They are also called Permission Unlock Terminals, or PUT, P U T, for short. Permission Unlock Terminals? P U T? The Dragon City Arms Alliance has an authorization system for the types of weapons that citizens can buy. Citizens must fully pay for a weapon's usage authority 
so that dealers can sell the said weapon to them. Why would they do that? Dragon City has a crime problem. They hope this can reduce the people's willingness to buy weapons. It also facilitates murder investigations. Once the murder weapon has been identified, they can quickly filter suspects based on their weapon authorizations. So did this method reduce the crime in this area? Huh. It's just a scam designed to rip us off and make more money. But a few citizens would keep charging up their authority permits to buy new guns, becoming indiscriminate hoarders. In truth, most buyers hardly use their weapons. I appreciate your honesty. Really. And to be honest, what I told you isn't exactly a secret. So, do you want to buy a weapon? Alright. Teleport. So you can use these to go back and forth to the other ones if you really need to. Okay. Big guy! Oh no. Boss Try fight. running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! Oh my god, here he goes. Kill him! Bring it on, big guy. I might die here. Uh, just a scratch. Take this. I'm gonna like stay next to him as you turn gold. Oh yeah! I need, oh my god. Oh boy! I need health. Don't have any. That's that good. Can I leave him? No. Stay focused. It might be axe time, baby. All right. Well, that's all that. To reload. What enemies? I didn't agree to this. And oh, I got insurance. I just missed him for a second. Motherfucker! Hugging it! Ooh. This ain't over! I, I got my damn asshole! Oh my god, I'm so close to dead. Who's the dead? Come in! I got it! Let's go! Again. Woo! Let's get it, baby! Look at my health bar. <laughs> it's like nothing. Uh, I was legit worried that I was not gonna you think make I'm that work. Of you, we'll see who's more scared. Hi, Mona. Why are you here? Sorry. This door took me a while to hack open. So you're the one who opened the door for me? <laughs> I was just running out of ideas about it. Seeing you fight that augmented opponent got me quite worried. Thanks for your concern. How much do you know about that big guy? Well, I'm really surprised that you managed to beat him. These people are extremely strong professionals. Dragon City has plenty of mutant boxing tournaments. Many old professionals who refuse to retire often turn to mutagens to keep their careers going. These mutant boxing matches are extremely cool and bloody. You obviously saw how mutagen users can use strange abilities, such as electrical or flaming attacks. Such spectacles often draw larger crowds. This man is definitely a professional mutant boxer that Wei Long hired. How many fighters did Wei Long hire? I believe he's got more than one of them. I should go after Wei Long. I'm not letting him get away with this. Be safe. Try to avoid fights with such opponents. Alright, so I gotta admit, if... If I don't get any further, I am happy I got this far. Okay, Big Guy's Diary. I'm gonna read that when editing for sure. Can't buy this. I don't have enough yet. What is this thing? 60 seconds. Ooh. Well, that doesn't really give me a lot, does it? All right, we got challenges. Oh, we got vehicles passing. Uh, appear above enemy's head when it's about to perform a melee attack. 
under challenge mode, this indicator will not be shown. Okay. Well, good thing we're not doing that. So let's kind of check these out. Oh, there's a way to hop up there. Yo, look at this thing. I want that so bad, but I can't get it. Let me break this up. I might give me a little bit. 256 to 278. I'll take it. Let's wait. All right, here it goes. Got kind of scared there for a minute. Hey, I was like, man, that boss. Oh my god. Alright, I wonder, like, if I die, do I. I'm kind of curious, like, will I have to redo that boss and everything again? I'm sure I would, right? Hold on, it says go that way, but. Oh, wait a minute. I saw the arrows and immediately thought. Oh, uh, was there something over here? I'm just curious. I'm, like trying to, I'm trying to see above us, but I can't. Woo! Okay. We're going. Damn it! I just want to go. Oh. All right. Ooh. Uh, now this right here might be really good. Problem is, I don't... Oh, I got, I got one from that. Let's go, baby. Hey, hey, let's get it. All right, I'm going to get as far as I can for the rest of the video. I think next time I die, that'll be kind of where I stop. But this has been really awesome. All right, notes. Combat 30. Let's see a puppet enemy's head. Attack with an iron body buff. Yeah, that's kind of what that, that boss was kind of doing some of that. I was just... I kind of got, I guess, frantic and was just... I was just shooting wherever I could. Can I break these? No? Alright, we need to go to the right, it looks like. Oh, hold on, let me double check. Something above us. Can't jump up anymore, though. Yeah, I'm looking. If you look at the mini-map. Yeah, yeah, it shows, like... Oh, I see. We have to go down. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Right here. For the game! There we go. Okay, so far so good. What the? Really blocking? Okay. You motherfucker. Okay, buddy. That's kind of a tough enemy. What in the world? All right, I'm pretty sure one car hitting up dead. You motherfucker. Idiot. Oh. I'm going to use everything I can besides melees for just a second because I'm getting slaughtered. Okay. My health is not looking good. Oh, no. You fucking worm. Uh. Fuck this. Yeah. Oh, hey, can I just run from enemies? Ah, I got grenades, asshole. Hey, can they get up here? Let them, let them burn out, let them burn out. Let me reload. Let's give you a lot. Let me reload again. Alright. Fuck you. Alright, nice. Yeah, once you kind of get the hang of it, I, I like this a lot. It's, uh... I haven't played a game like this, like, in a long time. We, oh, I could have hopped. That's where I was already at. Let me let me double check. That was the right spot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make sure. I thought something else popped up when I saw the phone. Here we go. Joe see Shoe, come after me again and you'll regret it. Uh, we got to climb up right there, looks like. Here we go. I advise 
advise you not to get involved in this, or you'll die a very tragic death! All right, uh, he did the Black Cat's warning, okay. Yo, I brought, it brought us all the way back here, too. This is really cool. Same stuff as last time, I think. Here we go. It's lucky you got back safe, Sishu. Longshi Town is a mess right now. Did we get any leads from the mercenaries that kidnapped Wei Long? The intel unit analyzed the images you sent. They're bionic human mercenaries from Koga Industry. That Japanese company? The large multinational security company? Yes. Koga Industry is a global leader in the private security sector, offering both individual and corporate level security solutions with their bionic human products. It's a family business, founded in 1979. The director of Koga Industry is a Japanese entrepreneur named Shizue Ogata. She's also 107 years old. Shizue Ogata co-founded the business with her husband, Hiroen Ogata, in 1979, but Hiroen passed away 20 years ago at the age of 93 due to organ failure. Thompson Technology hadn't perfected its core organ transplant technique back then. But Shizue can now use it to keep herself alive. Businesses are extremely competitive in the security sector. The Ogata family fought hard to maintain their monopoly at the early stage. Some family members even sacrificed their lives to achieve this. Shizue's lost all four of her children during the early expansion phase of the business. She now has only her three grandchildren left. One of them got into the film industry, one is a playboy, and the eldest is Hiroyuki Ogata. Hiroyuki Ogata is a highly skilled warrior who would do anything for the family. But he lacked business acumen and was made the commander of Koga forces instead. With none of her grandchildren competent enough to take over, the old lady had no choice but to continue leading the family business. From what I've heard, Koga Industries' corporate creed is to follow the Bushido spirit, be loyal to its clients and agreements, and attach great importance to its corporate image. They're very selective of their clients. Why would they provide security for a gang member like Wei Long? <sighs> Forget it. I'll take a trip to Koga now. Easy, man. There's new intel about Lisbeth. The intel unit's AI, codename Fawn, finally ran through all of the surveillance cameras in Dragon City. By comparing every frame of all the video footage over the last few hours, the final location of Lisbeth's car can more or less be confirmed. Ditch Village, an abandoned village 40 kilometers away from the firm. Ditch Village? I remember past reports of an epidemic there, and all the villagers were evacuated. Now that place is cordoned off and abandoned. Why would Lisbeth go there? We sent a drone to take some video clips. The village was completely deserted and no useful intel was collected. Based on these two leads, where do you think will be most worth investigating? Really, choose carefully. The story and character's fate will change. Oh my goodness. Um. Catch it. Yeah, finding the key. I feel like getting info would be the best way, right? Oh, hang on. This changed it all. Where's soul? Mission details. Okay. I just wanna. I wanna go. I wanna go up here. Definitely a unique game. I think I've I've played a lot of uh, types of games like it, but this is the first one that feels. Truly, like, different, you know what I mean? Say sure, I saw the Long Xi Town brief. Good work. Hi, Director. Sorry about the mess. What's most important is that you come back in one piece. Don't worry about the rest. We already sent a team in to take care of it. Liu Xin told me there's two leads to follow now. It's your choice. I'm going to... You don't need to fill me in on the details. Just go for it. Let me know if you need anything. Requires e-coins, requires cores. Uh, cores, I guess. Thanks, Director. I'm leaving now. Alright. 
Finally got us some cores going on. That was our first one. <laughs> Alright, we're not going anywhere there. Here we go. You know what? Uh, okay, one game that this kind of does remind me of in a... A non... I'm trying to think. I guess in a non-correlated way. Look at this. Is this a vacuum? Look at that thing. Or... Yo, it is! Yo, that's sick! So, I remember when I was a kid, I played Final Fantasy VIII. And it's like, when you're inside that main starting area, like the futuristic appeal of it. Something about this kind of reminds me of that just a little bit. I know it's not the same type of game at all, but... That's what it reminds me of. Alright. Alright, equipment file. Let's see what we got. Same as last time. Nothing else should be different. So, we have what we had earlier. And the double shotgun. I think about this. Yeah, look at... Yeah, you don't have a lot of ammo and stuff there. Um... I'm gonna leave all that there. Let me talk Zishi, to him. my man. You all right? I heard you tore the Long Shi Gang a new one last night. I'm fine, thanks to the weapons you gave me. I should have given you more ammo. I have some clues. I plan to continue the mission. Let's see what I can set you up with. Yo, check it out. Okay. Uh, Dave is a skilled machinist, and your steadfast ally you can upgrade you. Okay. Hey, the melee is such a huge part of everything, right? Oh, yeah. So I own 1235. I'm tempted to just go all the way with... Because I didn't do the overkill thing much. The only... Here's my only worry. Okay, so... If I upgrade... Yeah, this is the melee weapon. So right now I'm using my hands. But if I get something else... I was going to say I didn't want to do the gun, tactical gear, or the skill chip because... If I use it here, it's not going to carry over if like, I, if I die and reset. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We'll see. Um, skill chip's nice, but I don't know what to do here. Because if I upgrade my, my hands, but then I pick up like a katana, <laughs> you know, it's not going to help me. So, <sighs> ammo reserve plus... Yeah, I can see that being costly. Okay. Magazine capacity. More more bullets would be nice. If I did that... Um... Man, I just don't know. I'm, I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna spend anything. Because if it carries into the next stage... Oh, it's the Flappy Bird thing again. Okay, now we just depart again. Okay. Part of me wants to get to the next area. And... Or maybe I should upgrade everything. Zishi, my man. I'm fine. I I Let me go ahead and just... I I'm just going to do this. I'm going to just increase everything I can. Uh, I will... I guess I'll have... Yeah, this being as high damage as I can possibly get it. Or close to it. Overkill counter, minus one. I feel like max ammo reserve would be very strong. Yeah, 650 for the next one. Tactical gear. There we go. I have 340 left. What do I want to do here? Overkill counter. Alright, I have a little bit left. Let's see. Increased damage. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. I didn't know if, like, these stay with you or not. We'll find out.
You've, You've got, got guts. guts. Starring, Starring up trouble in Kunga industry. industry. Apologies, madam. I'm Detective Zhang Jishu from the Changshu Detective Office. Your mercenaries took Wei Long from me. He's a major suspect that we're after. A petty detective. Searching for a gangster? Wrecking havoc in my territory? What do you take Kunga industry for? You must be the so-called top fighter of Dragon City. Hiroyuki Ogata, Koga Commander. I know it's difficult to negotiate after all that's happened, but how about this? You and I have a contest. If I can last for three minutes against you, you hand over Wei Long. Deal? <laughs> you are interesting. I accept your challenge. But this isn't a competition. It's a battle to the death. I don't need three minutes. If you can survive against my blade for one minute, you win. Do you accept? Looks like I have no other choice. And if you lose? If I lose, I don't know where you get your confidence from. How about this? If you defeat me, to defend the honor of the samurai and my family, I will take my life at Seppuku. You're called Zhang Jizu, right? Meet me in the courtyard of floor 32. Before that, you'll have to prove you have what it takes to make it up there. How about if you lose your hand over Wei Long? Alright, so I want to find a good stopping point, but I don't quite know what to do. Um, I might stop here. Because if I start fighting, I might fight and see what the enemies look like in this area first. Hold on, let's see. Oh, beer. That is... Really? Unable to. There we go, I got it back now. Oh, they are tanky. Oh, boy. Part of me wants to just die and see, it, like, where I start at, you know? Because I have a lot of questions right now. Okay, that is a lot. Yeah, I died. I actually was trying to heal right there. I was going to, like, see if I can fight a little longer. Obtain. Okay. That's what it is. Memento card. So, the boss. The E-coins. I spent them all, so it really didn't matter. In invest E-coins to upgrade. Okay, you keep those. I'm so thankful that's the case. That's a cool loading screen, by the way. So any of the one, if I had taken them to the stage and spent them, let's see where it takes me. <gasps> Some of his daughter, okay. I'm pretty sure. Sure, the director needs to meet you urgently. Do come to the office. All right, I guess I'll go talk to him really quick and then we'll stop after that. I want to just see like what kind of progress we've actually made, if any. Hold to unlock. Yeah, this is the one we got. Oh, wow, okay. That's actually kind of cool. Game progress 1%. Seven different endings. No way. Two deaths, okay. Uh, we can hold to unlock these. Oh, you- Oh, you get cores for doing this? Let's get it, baby. Oh, it shows you- Oh, wow, that's actually kind of cool. It shows you, like, where you died. Unexplored processes. Yo, I like the level of detail they have for this. There's gonna be a lot of speed runs for this. Alright, let's go talk to the director, and then after that, we will, uh, be good. Go ahead and pet the cat. I think we got something last time we did that. Yeah, maximum tactical gear reserve increase. Obtain mine, okay? Everyone misses you. When you weren't around, Dave Ray kept asking me to take him out for a meal. If this keeps going on, I will have to miss out on a few gym sessions. Uh, Laura, this is where, okay, this is where, better safe than sorry. Here's the thing, I'm not going to do any of this right now. These we can't lose, you know? But I want to also, like, see how far I can get. If I get to a point where I can't 
just seem to progress, I'll then upgrade something since we always come back here afterwards. Uh, balance guarantee to see reserve funds one. Retain some of the previous collected e-coins. What is I bet the last one says, yeah, large amounts. It gives you more and more. Okay, combat. We also get stuff here. So everything runs through this. Melee parry, shield parry. Uh, when you're near death, you get HP. What is this one? It survives you after lethal hit, so you can stay in the fight. Limit to one use per level. Okay. And hey, what is that? Hold on. What's the other part of that say? Okay. Clothing should be the same. All right, let's go, uh, let's go talk to the director and then we will start loop three. Well, I'm not going to start this video. But if you would like a part two, I'll see how this first video does, though. I think like 10,000, 20,000 likes, so somewhere in there, I, I would probably do a part two. Because I wouldn't mind seeing more of the story. Full sprint, baby. We're going. Zishu, you're finally here. Sorry to call you in on a Sunday. Liu Jin, Koga industry is heavily guarded. Can you really make it in undetected in a flying car? Koga industry? The Japanese security company? Why do you want to infiltrate them? Hang on. I'll have the intel unit run a simulation. There's a loophole in Koga industry security. This route is a blind zone every 30 seconds. Are you investigating Koga industry? I already know I have to go to Long Sea Town now to question Wei Long about Lisbeth. Then Koga Industry will take Wei Long from me. How did you know? I'll explain everything when the time is right. I promise. Okay. Do you have any other questions about this intel? No. I'll set off now. Our director's up here. I love how fast you can run in this game. I guarantee you there's going to be some crazy speed runs in this game. I'm actually excited to see other people play it now. Say sure, you're back. Hi, Director. It's been a while. You lost weight. I take it Liu Xin already filled you in on the case brief? Yes. I'm going to start investigating soon. To be honest, this case puzzles me. Many reporters have gone missing, and not a single one of them has been found. I watched that girl grow up. Please, do everything you can to help. Don't worry. I'll do everything I can to bring Lisbeth back. Alright, that was it. It's kind of I thought it'd be something else. It's like, he kind of said that same thing before, but... Alright, love you all, best audience ever. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Uh, man, I just can't thank you enough for all the support. Again, if you want to check out this game, I have a link at the very top of the description. It should take you where you need to go. Okay. All right, yep. Yeah. I'm going to stop here. Uh, all of you, thanks so much for watching up to this point. And I will uh, kind of see how the video does. And if you'd like a part two, just let me know. All right, love you all. Take it easy.